Good day, my fellow hackers. Today I'm going to be using Cheat Engine on WinRAR, and I'm going to debug it and fix it before for one major problem because of those uh, ads, those ads, and it's revolutionary because I never saw a video that was not a malware about fixing this issue. And uh, this is not a WinRAR exe. I'm, let's open an archive. I'm going to show you what I mean. Those. Uh, Add those not the ads. These messages that please purchase WinRAR license. And don't mind this. I was messing around in the EXE and it didn't fix all the changes because I was trying to remove this. And of course, there's not only this. There's, but you can see this one pops up the most. Let me get. Come on, come. On. Nope. Let me get another one, and yes, you can use others, uh, other hex editors to fix this problem. I'm just gonna use the cheat engine because this channel revolves around cheat engine, mostly. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm gonna fix this one. There's another window that pops up. Why can't I get it? What's with my luck? Because I'm gonna remove this completely, and it's, yes, you can just easily access the files. This one doesn't pop up. So, you know, let's just get to it. Uh, this text file just has uh, something to locate. Um, I can show you actually. There we go. This one. Yeah, I couldn't find how to delete this one. This one seems to be a different tab at all. You can interact with this and that one just seems connected. Somehow, but I can't, you know, fix it easily. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that one, but as you can see, the mostly, mostly, at least for me, that pops up is that small tab that, uh, I need reference. This please purchase WinRAR license, please note that WinRAR is not free, so, yeah, th this is a bit messed up. As you can see, I managed to change it a bit. Yes, so this. That. Let's open... What the f... Okay. You don't want to play? You want to play it like this? Okay, okay. Anyways, this TXT file is just please purchase mineral license. I copied the same text that is seen up in here. Because this marks uh, almost this. More of a this X marks the start of this browser, but this is uh, near the start. So, like this, we can find this brow, this, this, this tabs, this windows forming start by this top text and now first of all to debug we don't need this winrar archive we need winrar exe so let's go into a search bar and type win and there we go winrar if you can't find it, just press apps and there we go. this is winrar i'm gonna right click open file location okay this is not a WinRAR, you can tell that it's a shortcut by this arrow. Right click, open file location. This is the actual WinRAR, WinRAR EXE. Yes, this is what we need. Now, what we're gonna need to do... Good, we located it. Now, let's open the cheat engine or any other hex editor. Yes. And now... For you that... For those that don't know, you can, yes, edit cheat with cheat engine. The, f the for example exes that are not yet open so you need to press file open file and i already made the path so if you just want to you need to locate when we found this where the winrar exe located is uh, i'm gonna press the top control copy to copy this path press top in here you know the same this is this shows the path control you know control v you paste the path press enter and it's gonna put you right in here well, i can press this control v open no what whoa, 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 whoa. control v enter there we go so this is winrar exe i'm gonna press this exe or you can double click it or just press open when selected it For the bit or uh, it doesn't matter, okay. So yeah, and now we can press memory view and this is it. This is the spot where, and this is the 
in the bottom is the hex edit with hex it's a memory memory region this is memory disassembler yes this is disassembler this is the region anyways in the hex it's just yes in hex you will see this only perhaps so now how do we debug so first of all um, of course i showed you in a text i'm gonna paste this text in the description below or comments maybe please purchase winner license so yeah this is the exactly the same text with uh, the caps in the right locations it's, it's just the same text it's just i don't want to type it you know I'm just gonna copy and now in the when thi in this this place where is the bunch of numbers in the hex so i'm gonna right click search memory and now in here i'm gonna select text unicode and now in the bottom it's actually questionable can you find it with other hex tools because cheat engine can find you know i typed please purchase with our license text unicode find there please purchase and as you can see it has a dot every after every single letter you can of course just you know maybe type array of bytes if you want this is the array array i'm gonna let you look at it it's unique so you should find only one now if i were to scroll a bit up this is the please purchase and now i see the x which marks the this x well not this didn't not this windows but the one that pops up this is the x so this is the start of the that window forming so i'm gonna go and i need to start from this 90. which in hex if you might not know is means uh, nope which means not operational so i'm gonna right click go to the address this is the address that I'm currently in. So I'm gonna press Control copy to copy it. Okay, of course I jumped to it. It's just the same, it's just jump, anyways. Now in this disassembler, I'm gonna Control copy, go to the address, Control V. I'm gonna paste the same address from here to here. Okay, and there we go. So it would be easier to see. So this is a knob, just knob, and this is a push. This push starts the window and it just adds the lead, the, I don't know what it adds, it adds, it adds a bunch of things. Now, what we need to do is just simply make this push not push. How do we do this? Well, uh, for you hex editors, just uh, watch this down below. You know watch those numbers these four for us cheat engineers we can just double click and uh, instead of those es i'm just gonna type zero zero or maybe one zero okay and yes change others to nope there we go zero zero nope and now there we go what changed this is what changed so 90 still on up then 6a 0 0 and the 0 0 z and another knob to you know equalize so we're not trash the code and we're done so we can just press file save file and now it already wants to save in uh, winrar but i'm going to show you by saving it on desktop this is my desktop open i know it says open but you just actually save it so there we go i saved it and I can basically close this, close this, and if I open this WinRAR, yes, th this license will still gonna pop up. I, I, as I said, I don't know how to delete it, but there we go. Nothing. Wait, let me do it again. You see that loading? You see the loading? It starts loading, but nothing, nothing loads. And you can just simply interact. Oh, it's so wonderful. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, okay, <laughs> not you. Okay, and you, what you need to do simply is just uh, drag it here and... Oh, 
Oh. I wanna delete this and add this. Excuse me. Control copy. Control V. There we go. Control copy, control V because uh, this is a bit of a protected place in Windows. I guess. And now basically if I were to open any... Not this, I can just delete it. I'll have... I might... I mean, I could have this in the description for downloads. If you're lazy enough not to do it yourself, I, I, I might have it. Yes. And now uh, I want to... Yes, and, mm, I want to create a uh, WinRAR archive and just test it out. Yes, this still pops up, which is uh, a bit annoying, but this one doesn't. And as uh, you can, as you saw, you're just gonna be 50/50 at at which one you're gonna get. So 50% at a time, you're gonna be just fine, just wonderful. How to delete that one? Uh, still don't know. If you, any of you have any suggestions or solutions, please let us know. Because community needs to know how to delete the WinRAR, the fucking uh, the license purchase requests. Because it it's oh so nice. It's oh so nice. So yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching.